<sighs> Welcome back to the reset button. I am your host, as always, Dave Struction, the movie worshiping, anime loving video game nerd. And we have another episode of Just My Opinion. And today on Just My Opinion, I want to talk villains, specifically Marvel villains. Um, and my top three. And I've previously mentioned this in a video before, uh, another Just My Opinion, but. Yes, baby instruction. He's making some noise. But anyway, um, my favorite top three villains are Vulture, Zemo, and Killmonger. And those are not in any order. But, and I'll tell you why they're my favorite. Because, one, they are believable villains. Like,. They're not doing evil things for evil reasons, right? They're doing specifically evil things. And, like, in case of Zemo, he kind of knows that he's doing an evil thing. But, um, like, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched freaking Age of Ultron, where you've been the last couple years. But, anyway. Um, anywho, so, yeah, uh, he, he lost his family because a whole freaking nation got dropped on top of him. So... Um, by, you know, by essentially Tony Stark's, you know, uh, creation. So, and he was super dedicated at achieving, achieving his goal. He didn't even want to kill him. He wanted them to kill each other and, and it worked almost perfectly. Um, so yeah, that there's Zemo, uh, Vulture. Vulture was just a regular guy trying to make money and he got contracted to do the cleanup and, and when they told him, no, screw you, um, and they didn't even compensate him, which is something that, let's be honest, well, you know, screw it. I'm not even monetized at this moment. Which, something that the kind of government is known for doing is, oh, uh, we're going to clean this up, but not compensate you for all the money you just spent on getting contracted to do this. That's something that I think, if that was a real situation, that, honestly, I think the government would do. It's a crappy thing to think about, but yeah, that's, that's what happened. So he, by any means necessary provided for his family and it seems like he's a good husband and he's a good father you know dedicated dad but he was doing some terrible things but you you kind of felt for the guy and uh to round this off killmonger <sighs> he wasn't really a villain so much as an antagonist um and you understood why he was the way he was i mean he was Wakandan, left by himself. Like, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched... Sorry, I need to specify this. Specify, this is a spoiler. If you haven't watched Black Panther yet, I know it's been a month. There's still people who haven't seen it. Um, at this point, just cut it off right here. Just cut it off right here at, like, the three-minute mark. Um, don't, don't watch further, because I'm about to spoil parts of Black Panther for you. Anyway, okay, are you still watching? You watched Black Panther? Good. Okay. So why Killmonger is one of the best villains that they've had so far is he he's not really a villain. He's more of an antagonist because of what was done to him um, growing up. Uh, his father was killed and left for dead. And he walked in and found the body. Um, so uh, he probably didn't have a very good childhood. He's probably in and out of foster homes and stuff like that. This doesn't say it in the, sh in the movie. But that's probably what happened to him. And then he goes into the military, and they make him a killer. And he knows full well that he's from Wakanda. Um, so they, T'Challa's dad create, essentially created a monster, you know, um, of a person. And, like, here's the thing. I don't even really think that, that um, uh, Killmonger was necessarily a monster. He was just... He had reasons for what he was doing, and I didn't necessarily disagree with what he was doing. He had the tactics and all of this. He's like, you know what? I'm making sure that I'm the only Black Panther and all this other stuff. But anyway, um, he was great. Uh, and those are my top three villains uh, or antagonists. Let's just call them top three antagonists for Marvel. Uh, for Marvel, sorry, for Marvel. Um, but, uh, that's just my opinion. If you like this video, be sure to ignite that like button with fire. Be sure to comment and subscribe. And, uh, follow me on Twitter at DaveStruction88. Uh, be sure to keep 
you know, make sure you hit that because that's uh, where I'm going to be posting like updates to schedules and stuff like that. And also when I do a new video, if you're not subscribed, that's also how you'll get information. So make sure to follow me at DaveStruction88 on Twitter. Okay. And as always, if life is getting you down, remember, this is not your final form. Grab an extra life, and you can always hit the reset button.